So the judge explained that he needed to file a motion to dismiss the suit if he wanted it tossed. To help me really understand this, uh, to play this case out in litigation, is attorney Karen Conti and criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Randy Zellin. Thank you for being here. And Randy, um, you will be taking the side of the plaintiff in this scenario for us, uh, just for our entertainment and understanding. Karen will be taking the side of the defendant, or in this case, uh, the date ghoster. So Randy, the floor is yours. Pretend she's your client. Should the judge throw out this woman's case? Your Honor, the district court where this case is being tried is the people's court. My client has a right to be here. She has her right to her day in court. That is how our system of justice provides for the resolution of disputes. We don't take it to the streets. And quite frankly, Your Honor, before you dismiss this case, you are supposed to look at the allegations in a light most favorable to my client. My client doesn't have to win at this phase. She only has to demonstrate that she has a claim. And you need to know a lot more in terms of determining whether or not this defendant's conduct was in fact extreme and outrageous beyond the, the bounds of all normalcy. My client's mother's, the, the anniversary of her death fell on their second date. You know nothing in terms of whether or not the bounds of decency were stretched here. And at the very least, hear both sides, give both sides their day in court. <laughs> that was compelling. That was more compelling than I was expecting. Your uh, taste in wallpaper only exceeded by your passion there. I appreciate That's it. That's my wife. <laughs> Give her some compliments. And over to you, Karen. Um, should the judge throw out this case? This case is beyond frivolous. You don't get to bring a lawsuit in a court of law for a hurt feeling or something that happened to you that made you feel bad. That's not what our courts are for. They're crowded enough with real cases where people are really hurt and really damaged. In order to prove intentional infliction of emotional distress, this has to be extreme and outrageous conduct that's intentional or reckless and causes severe emotional distress, almost to the point of documented medical issues. And this is not that case. This is a person who didn't show up on a date. This is a suit that's frivolous. This is a suit that will be dismissed. And my guess is it's going to be sanctioned. This woman is going to be sanctioned for any attorney's fees or any costs that the defendant has, and rightly so. I mean, Karen, I think that a lot of the viewers at home um, say that you just said what they're feeling probably a lot more eloquently, <laughs> at least than I could have. But I mean, can we ask, uh, all, all playing aside here now, is it likely that this lawsuit would ever be successful? And Karen, we'll stay with you for this. Absolutely not. These are very difficult cases to bring. Uh, I had a case once where a restaurant owner put a, an employee in a cooler and said, I'm going to sexually assault you. That was deemed to be intentional infliction of emotional distress with good reason. And, you know, when you when you disseminate sex tapes or when you say uh, your husband died and make someone run off to the funeral home and there was no husband dying. Those are the kinds of things that are so outrageous, so over the top that you, that they can seriously cause somebody to be very sick and very ill and horribly distressed. This is not that case. A hurt feeling is this does not belong in court. Yeah, it just doesn't cut it. Well, Randy, over to you. You know, should the judge take into account that this woman actually has a history of these kinds of lawsuits? And just for the sake of argument, go back and say she is your client again. She is not. But let's just say she is. Um, would you say that this is um, a good tactic to argue with the judge? Um, and should the judge take into account that she has a history of multiple kinds of these lawsuits? Well, in a civil case, certainly a, a judge has flexibility that a judge would not have in a criminal case because certainly in a criminal case, we don't convict people based upon what's called a propensity. But what this case really shows us, it shows us everything that's wrong with our society. We have a plaintiff who has absolutely no respect for authority. We have a court that has absolutely no patience for a frustrated litigant and we have two parties who quite frankly don't know what they're doing there's no empathy there's no patience there's no uh, there's no sense of what can i do to help you but certainly um, what we just saw is everything that a plaintiff should not do unless a plaintiff actually wants to lose all right. Well, um, thank you, Karen Conti, Randy Zellin. We certainly appreciate you playing along. And also, I learned something. Appreciate the insights as well.